something that many of us have been waiting for. Finally, it's the red carpet event. And we're here right in the center, in the heart and the pulsing beat of Vienna, in the city center, outside the Rathaus, which is just over there. You can see in the corner. That in English, by the way, in case you're not a German speaker, means the kind of city hall. And last night, there was a big event here um, to raise awareness for HIV and AIDS. But tonight, it's the event that all the Euro fans have been waiting for. It is the Eurovision opening ceremony. This year is a particularly special year, as it's obviously the 60th event. And as you can just tell by the number of fans in the distance, everybody's really looking forward to seeing their five favorite acts. Be it from Sweden, be it from Azerbaijan. I've spoken to people from literally every corner of the country. And if you come here, you can see our view from the press side. So we're going to be trying to speak to some of these lovely people all the way down there. So you can just see some people walking down. We've had the Denmark and the Netherlands so far. And obviously, as you can imagine, the red cup carpet process is pretty slow actually because you have about 40 something countries to get up and down or summering long dri glitter dresses glitter gowns so I think we might be waiting a few more minutes yet before we talk to someone